These are the top lies that women tell, part two. Number one, my phone was dead. If you ever been trying to get a hold of your girl and she wasn't answering the phone and she hit you up hours later or the next day talking about my phone was dead, she was in pound town. You need to focus on yourself. Another one they tell, all we did was kiss. You ever catch your girl doing something slick like talking to another guy or hanging out with another guy she'll tell you well all we did was kiss if you believe that i have a flying elephant that i like to sell you now one that's more common than most people think is you are the father i wish i could be trolling right here but unfortunately paternity fraud is real and it's rampant fellas do what you have to do and make sure those kids are really yours listen if you're ready to build your confidence and become more attractive to women then click the link in my bio to get started Why is it that a lot of these women only like hood guys? Oh, that's simple. Those types of women see hood guys as dominant alphas because of how aggressive they act and look. They pretty much see them as the perfect protectors. Okay, and what about providing? Don't these women realize that most hood dudes are broke and don't have any future prospects? Oh, of course, but these types of women actually prefer the feeling of dominance over security. That's why a lot of them will even go as far as to pay for his things and drive him wherever he needs to go. Sheesh. You know, I wonder what makes these types of women develop that kind of mindset in the first place. I don't know, man. Some women are just crazy, which is why they need to be with even crazier men that have no problem handling them like wild animals or Amazon packages. Hmm. I'd say Amazon package is way more accurate. Yeah, you know what? I, I was thinking the same thing. What's three things every woman should do for her man? Um, BJ, cook, and most importantly, let him fuck you in the ass. So if you're getting passed over for, for job opportunities, you think, oh, well, you know, what am I not bringing? What, what's, what's wrong with me? It is really, really hard. Okay, it was unnecessary to make that video, but it was just for fun. I was just, I was just having fun. That's it. Like, it was just for fun. I may be a loner, but y'all hang out with people that talk shit about y'all. Niggas I don't like. Thank you, darling. It's beautiful. Good, good, good. Is the other one for me, too? No, no. No, that's for my mistress. Mistress? Mm-hmm. You have a mistress? Mm-hmm. You never told me. It's not important. I didn't know you had a mistress. Oh, I see her only, what, every two weeks? You know, it's not important. It's only for sex. Just for sex. Well, who is she? Anyone I know? She's a showgirl. Hmm. Morris has one too. Your business partner has a mistress? Mm -hmm. They're in the same show, Pasta Sock. Can I see her? Of course, if you're interested, why not? Why not? Which one is she? Who? Your mistress. Oh, uh, the brunette. <laughs> Which is Morris's? The blonde at the end. I 
Jetzt ist Bett. I'm interested in people being able to have different choices and, um, and having equality of outcome. Aha, well, so the overwhelming proportion of people who are in prisons are male. Now, do you want to equalize that, just out of curiosity? I, what about bricklayers? They're 99% male. And, the, and we've got about three quarters of, of the population now in universities, mm -hmm. in the humanities and social sciences, are female. Yeah. Are we going to equalize that? And men, men work more longer hours. They work more dangerous jobs. They're more likely to move. They're more likely to work outside. They're more likely to participate in jobs in the STEM fields that are scalable. They make more money for those reasons. And that's all hidden under the idea that the reason that men and women make different amounts of money is because of their gender. If a woman posts a video in a car and doesn't show to the left or right of her, she's with a man. Girls never leave their home girl out. If I'm talking to you and you're getting married, you need to make sure that your old bank account that had $50,000 in it stays with the $50,000 and that when you get married, you open up a new account, a new bank account, a new savings account, a new checking account. You need to separate the money that you earn during the marriage from the money you had prior to the marriage and do not put any monies that you are earning during the marriage into your prior premarital accounts. That money that you are putting in there loses its separate identity. Now it's marital and your spouse is entitled to half of it. The kid is gone, watch his chat. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do that. Do you guys think I'm a whore? Oh. Yep. Yeah. Y'all saw me fat as a motherfucker. I was 310 pounds. I was miserable. I thought negative That's thoughts. That's another question. I, I ate fucked up foods. I thought fucked up. I was just a miserable person to be around. Y'all saw me get on Instagram and say, God, please take an invisible knife and cut this fat off me today. God didn't do that. But every day that I woke up with breath in my body was the opportunity to change my life because it starts inside. It doesn't start outside. When I got divorced, my wife said she would fight for custody of the kids. Took her out with one fucking punch. <laughs> 